Welcome to Wisdom for Singles and Married with Samuel Olagbenjo. Uh, don't forget this, this program runs from Monday to Friday by 7 p.m. on this page. Tell your friend, tell your loved one about this program. And as you follow this program, your, your marriage will never be the same. Today we're talking about how to build a romantic marriage. How to build a romantic marriage. Romance is something you do to express your love to your wife or your husband. Your, your spouse feel romance when you do anything that shows you care for him or her. Romance also means doing a simple thing in a special way. You must give room for romance in your marriage. Your marriage must not be dry. Your marriage must not be boring. You must be romantic. You can be anointed and also be romantic. There's nothing wrong with that. So many Christian spouses are non-romantic. So lack of romance makes marriage boring. If a marriage becomes boring, it could lead to marital crisis. So that's why you must be intentional about romance in your marriage. You are too serious. You know, be romantic to spice up your marriage. So how do you become a romantic spouse? Number one, learn your spouse love language. Learn your husband, your wife love language and use it, you know, generously. Generously. Everyone has a love language. Love language means those things people do to us that make us feel loved the most. There are five of them. Word of affirmation, touching, out of service, receiving of gifts, and spending quality time with your spouse. So learn your spouse, your, 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 your husband, your wife, love language, and speak it regularly, regularly. When you know your spouse love language, you'll be able to meet their expectation. So what makes your spouse feel loved? So discover that. Ask questions about it. Don't say you don't know. You can ask. So that's why communication is very, very important in marriage. Don't tell me you don't know. Ask your husband. Ask your wife. You know, what are your love languages? You know, what can I do to make you feel loved? You know, ask, talk as friends, talk as lovers. You know, one of the, one of the way to be a romantic spouse is to learn your husband or your wife love language. Number two, how to be a romantic spouse. Celebrate your spouse. Celebrate your husband. Celebrate your wife always. Celebrate your wife always. Don't wait until your spouse dies before you start writing beautiful uh, articles, beautiful write-up about your husband, about your wife. No! Celebrate your husband, your wife when they are alive. I know of a woman, I never even know that woman, the woman was married until she lost her husband. And when she lost her husband, almost every day she keep on disturbing us on social media, my husband is this, my husband is that. But when the man was alive, we never knew that this woman was married. So don't wait until your husband die. Don't wait until your wife die before you begin to celebrate. Celebrate your husband, celebrate your wife anywhere. You can give a special testimony in the church for having the best husband, for having the best wife. Let your marriage be a model to people who are looking up to you. So celebrate your spouse anywhere in the world, now and always. Any day is a good day to celebrate your love. Don't wait till your wedding anniversary, to, don't wait until Valentine or birthday before you celebrate each other. If you follow me on social media, you will discover that I celebrate my wife every day. Every day. Both on social media, anywhere, I celebrate my wife. So learn to celebrate your spouse. This is one of the ways, you know, to bring romance to your marriage. Um, so the next point, number three, create your own special holiday. Create your own special holiday and enjoy each other. Plan a mini honeymoon. Plan a mini honeymoon when both of you can spend quality time together. Honeymoon does not end, should not end after, you know, your wedding ceremony. You know, you know, after the wedding, you, you maybe you spend three days, four days, five days, you know, you, you book an hotel, you have nice time. And that is the end. You'll be married for 15 years. There is no mini honeymoon. 
So you can organize a mini honeymoon, enjoy each other, each other, you know, take the children to grandma, you know, let them be with somebody and enjoy each other. So this is how you can spice up your marriage. You know, the next point, call your spouse why why they are in the office. Call your spouse why they are, they go out why they are in the office. Call him or her. I just want to hear your voice. That's romantic. I just want to hear your voice. I just want to tell you that I love you. I do that most of the time. I can just send a message to my wife. I just want to say I love you. She will laugh. She will just smile. You know, this is how you can spice up your marriage. Don't be too serious all day. Your marriage should not be boring. So, number four, take a special meal to your husband, to your wife in the office during the break. You know, I remember some time ago, I was in the office and she was complaining yeah, that I don't want to buy food. Okay, I said, oh, sorry. I didn't tell her that I'm coming there to, to bring food. And I just appear like a magician. She was so surprised. She, she was so excited. I brought a very delicious food to her. And she was so happy. You know, she was just praying for me. Just praying for me. So you can surprise your spouse, your husband, your wife, you know, with a meal during the break while they were in the office. You can also drive to your, to your spouse's office to pick them up, <laughs> to pick them home. So the next point, how to be a romantic spouse, how to be spend time with, with your spouse watching your wedding video. When last do you watch your wedding videos? When last? You can sit down with your spouse and watch your wedding picture. Learn to spend quality time together. The next point, when your spouse comes back from office, meet him or her, you know, as if this is what I've been waiting for all day. Be excited. When your spouse comes back from office, you know, be excited, you know, about it. Drop your phone. I see some people, when their husband or their wife come back from office, they will be operating their phone. They will even, they will, the woman will not feel honored, the man will not feel honored, they will say, sit down. Welcome your spouse, welcome your husband, welcome your wife with excitement. Drop whatever you are doing at that moment. No matter what I'm doing at that moment, whether I'm making call, I'm you know I'm, I'm attending to somebody, I drop whatever I'm doing when my wife comes from office, and I welcome my wife as my queen. So you must learn to welcome your spouse with excitement. This is one of the way to to bring life into your marriage. The next point: play with your spouse. Play with your spouse. Don't be too serious always. The couple that play together, stay together. Push romance and playfulness in your daily schedule. In your daily schedule. Put it in your daily schedule. Look for a way to laugh together. Say something funny. Say something funny. Do something funny. This is one of the ways to bring life into your marriage. The next point, take a picture of him or your phone and set it as your phone background. Use your spouse picture as your profile picture on social media. I write something beautiful. This is the most beautiful wife in the world. This is the most anointed man. This is the most handsome man in the world. You know, it's simple, but it means a lot to uh, some people. I was counseling some couple uh, just two weeks ago, and the major complaint of the woman is that my husband has never posted my picture on social media. The man was so shocked. Is that what you want? The man was just laughing. At is that what he said? I want it. <laughs> so you must learn to do that. You know, post your, your husband picture, post a wife picture on social media, and have something beautiful, you know, about them. You know, this, you can make by their day by doing that. The next point, always learn to say, I love you to your spouse. Always learn to say, I love you to your husband, to your wife. Some time ago, I posted on social media, when last do you say I love you to your spouse? A lot of people, in fact, 80% of people that, that make comments, they say no, they, they, they couldn't remember. They couldn't remember. Some say, you know, two years ago, three years ago, five years ago. Some on their wedding day, for the last day, they, they, they said I love you to their spouses. So you must learn to say I love you to your husband, to your wife, always. Tell him or her that you love him. It is not only women who are moved by what they said. You know, 
Men also are moved by what they hear. So learn to tell your husband, I love you. You are wonderful. You are, you are anointed. You are, you are a great man. You are a man of vision. So learn to say beautiful words to your spouse. You know, this is one of the ways, you know, to spice up your marriage. Give your spouse a pet name. You know, I see some that some spouses call their themselves their by their children name. Mama, Mama Rebecca, you know, Baba Rebecca, Baba David, you know, that's not romantic. You're, 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 or, or, you, even though you're from a, a, a village that don't understand about romance, you can put romance into your marriage. Call your spouse my love, my king, my treasure, you know, my gem, my honey. You know, those names are romantic. You know, the next point, the next point, buy your wife a gift at least every month. At least once in a month. Buy your wife a gift once in a month. As a man, you know, when lad do you buy a gift for your wife? When lad do you buy a gift for your wife? No gift is too small or too big for your wife. I was in a program and people were giving testimony. You know, my, my, my husband bought you know, a car for me. My husband took me out, you know, to abroad. And the woman that gave the last testimony, you know, you know, a hallelujah was shaking the whole environment. Uh, Madam, tell her your testimony. You say, when my husband was coming from office yesterday, he bought me a bottle of granite. Everybody was just laughing. He was just laughing. About that bottle of granite, you know, made that woman day. She was so happy. She was so excited. You know, she was singing, ah, just a bottle of granite. So discover what makes your wife happy, your husband happy. So as a woman, when lad do you buy a gift for your husband? So learn to buy a gift for your husband also. This is one of the ways, you know, to bring romance into your marriage. So the next point, play romantic game with your husband. Play romantic game with your, with your spouse. Both of you can play football, table tennis together. The couple that play together, stay together. Think with your wife. Play romantic. Do pillow fights in the house. Do hide and seek. You are not too old. Enjoy yourself. You know, it, it, that playfulness builds intimacy between you and your spouse. You know, hug your spouse before you go to office. You know, make it an habit that before you step out, before you travel, you know, you will hug your wife, you will hug your husband before you go out. Watch a romantic movie together. Visit places of interest. Go on a picnic just for two of you. Do activity together. Find something that both of you will enjoy. Find something that both of you will enjoy and do it together. When last do you take your spouse out? When last do you go for a date? You know, I was counseling a, a, a couple last month and they've been married for 15 years and they have never gone for a date. They have never gone for a day, maybe cinema, maybe a beach. They are just living as neighbor, you know. So boring marriage. So take your spouse out for a, a nice date. You know, go to cinema, watch film together, go to a beach and enjoy each other. You know, just together, you know, go to a beach, take a stroll together, dance together. I always recommend, you know, this to couple, let to dance together. You know, when both of you are together, you can just earn on the radio and enjoy yourself in dance together you know and enjoy yourself sing together eat together sleep together in the same room no daddy room no 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 mommy's room S sleep together in the same room on the same bed enjoy yourself be together battle together enhancing your friendship you know and and it brings you closer and when you be together, let to kiss on that shower. Let to kiss and enjoy yourself. You know, you are married. Make love in the in, in the in the in the bedroom. You know, there are benefits of dating together. Benefit of dating together. One of the benefits is that it enhances your intimacy. It enhances intimacy. You know, number two is that it makes you free with each other. It makes you free with each other. It can also enhance your sex life. It is another kind of foreplay. 
Uh, it's a way to try new shower cells position. So the next point is that do exercise together. Do exercise together. You know, massage your husband. Massage your wife. When your wife complains, my back is paining me, tell her to lie down and massage each other. Massaging each other enhances intimacy. It enhances intimacy. The next point is that learn to celebrate your husband, your wife's birthday elaborately. Don't take your spouse's birthday for granted. Many men don't even remember that birthday. So as a, as a wife, you must learn to celebrate your wife's birthday. As a husband, it is a national crime for you to forget your wife's birthday. Many men don't even know their wife's birthday. So put it in your schedule, write it down. This is my wife's birthday so that you won't forget. Set your alarm and organize a mini party for your, for your dear wife. Call, call, you, call our family, call your friend and celebrate your, celebrate your wife. And you the opportunity to share good testimony about your wife. So celebrate each other's birthday, you know, elaborate, have fun together, enjoy each other. And uh, as you do this thing, it shall be well with your marriage. Let's stop here for today. And don't forget this program run from Monday to Friday by 7 p.m. on this page. Tell your friend, tell your loved one about this program. And as you follow us, your marriage will never go down. You will enjoy your marriage. And your marriage will be the best as the Lord live it. So don't forget this uh, for sponsorship for Hardbat. You can call the number on the screen and we will attend to you. Your marriage will not fail in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm.